Another night at the old gin joint. I was up for a grand in the high stakes game when we were rudely interrupted. The guy screams for the money. I tell him I don't have it. He gets mad. He says he needs the cash now. I tell him to come take it like a man. Little does this guy know I'm the one who hired him. To whom it may concern, that's this bastard who owes me a lot of money, the full six figures. Do you want to be homeless for the rest of your life, or do you want to become filthy rich like me? The choice is yours. Another night at this goddamn gin joint. I've spent way too much time on a cover already. Not that I mind playing poker with handsome over there, but I'm on a job here. Gotta stay focused. Suddenly this wild-eyed loom carrying a shotgun burst in. I find the urge to go for my gun. Maybe this idiot will prove useless. Shotgun hope over there yells Mr. Big Blind to put all the cash in the bag. If I might interrupt, you're probably still wondering why the story hasn't ended yet. Well, this is how the story is going to end. It's not your general Custer type shootout. So here I am thinking myself a genius. Hiring this poor schmuck for this little failed robbery. Making an example to him to show no one fucks with Jackie. Film Golden. I've got a read in every man in the room. And all of them know they'd be nothing without me. But she's no man. And I've got no read. Brad comes before the fall and my particular fall comes with the lady detective's gun to my head. I'm fucked. Here I am now, 35 to life, no parole. Well, because I saw all the angles except for the one that ended up sticking out of my back. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, kiddo.